my gosh, we finally are making some positive impact plays. I don't know if y'all can see, but in the back, that is a representation of my dog Neo in a USC jersey. I don't know if you guys have ever picked up on that, but I am a diehard USC fan. And seeing that I cover college football on a daily basis on this channel, it pains me to see all of these top players go everywhere but USC. But oh, we finally had a day where the light shone brightly on USC. USC just landed two of the most exciting prospects in the class of 2025 and one of the most talented class of 2026 recruits in the country. Now, don't get me wrong. USC has landed some talent from out of state, and we've also landed some pretty high recruits in the class of 2025. But we have never done what we're doing right now. USC now has three recruits who are committed to USC that are top 10 recruits recruits in the state of Georgia. One of those recruits, we just flipped from Georgia. USC, normally when we get a top level recruit, we're pulling them from within the state of California. We might be bringing them in from a school like a Texas or from a state like a Texas or something like that. We have never gone into SEC country and flipped a recruit. Normally it's happened to, happening to us. Bryce Young was originally a USC commit. He ended up flipping Alabama. That's normally what we see. Now we're starting to see players flip from SEC schools to USC. USC just flipped the eighth best player in the class of 2025 and the second best defensive lineman in the country in Justice Terry, standing at six foot five, 275 pounds. And here's what he had to say about his decision to flip from Georgia to USC. It was a no brainer. Coming from a small town, I wanted to expand my life as much as possible. And I felt like USC is the right place to do that. Number one business school in the country. I want to study business entrepreneurship. Coach Henry is good with developing players and I want to be a part of this journey with him. I trust his coaching and the ways he plans on utilizing me. This is exciting because if USC is now able to start going into SEC country and start, we don't have to go crazy, but just key recruits here and there. We've already got the number one quarterback in the state of Georgia coming over in Julian Lewis. We're also bringing in Justice Terry and we're gonna be bringing in another player that we're gonna be covering in this video. Enough of me talking, I wanna go over all the crazy recruits that USC just landed yesterday. Leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button. We're dropping daily videos. We, we kind of went on a little stretch where there wasn't some videos just cause there wasn't much to talk about. I'm only gonna be bringing you guys heat if there's heat to talk about. Hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications. And with that being said, let's take a look at the three recruits that USC just landed this past weekend that are going to shake up the USC's future. Three, two, one. Starting it off, USC is landing one of the most He's one of the most just intriguing prospects in the class of 2026. The full 2026 recruiting rankings are not fully out yet. This is Dominic Kelly. He's six foot one and 175 pounds coming out of the state of Florida. And he's a sophomore. He just finished up his sophomore year. He's going into his junior year. He's got great size, six foot one and 175 pounds. I really want to see just what does his game look like. To me, he looks more like a just pure lockdown corner. So this was this is a guy that he was already kind of being hinted at to maybe go to USC, but then hey, for him to make the decision this early in his recruiting process is extremely good. Another player that's coming from SEC country that we're bringing over to USC. I just want to take a quick look at this guy, see what he's playing like. Overall, he's got, he, I, I like that he gets out of his back pedal quickly and it looks like he's a more physical corner. Now we're getting into the two recruits that absolutely shocked me to see that we landed them. This is six foot four, 245 pound, four star edge rusher. The, and the number one edge rusher in the class of 2025, Isaiah Gibson. This kid is coming out of Warner Roberts High School and Warner Robins High School. This guy is a absolute animal. USC, we've known how much that they've needed help on that defensive side of the ball. We And all of the, some of the top guys that we have gotten on the defensive line, they haven't really panned out. I think that this kid, he, when you pair him up with the guy that we're about to cover next, I mean, look at him just absolutely bully that offensive tackle right there. This kid, he plays the game with some fun. He plays it with some flair, but then he's also just extremely just dominant. I mean, just look at how strong he is. Get him a ball for you. 
he has a solid first step. That's something that's an area I would like to see him improve on. But overall, I think that his his game overall is just gonna be he's gonna be one of those edge rushers that just does a phenomenal job of setting the edge and funnel, funneling everything back inside. A, a big area that USC struggles in is just runs up the middle. We're not able to really stop a whole lot. We're not able to get teams to try and bounce stuff to the outside so that we can try and force it back in they're just able to just slash and cut us all the way up just with inside running i've added a guy like like my guy isaiah gibson this is gonna this is this is gonna allow us to be able to be a little bit more creative with our defensive schemes because we're gonna have the big bodies that we're gonna need especially going to the big 10 that is gonna allow us to be able to stop the running game more effectively But as you can see, he just took on a double team like it was nothing. And now we get to take a look at the second best defensive lineman in the country, Justice Terry. This kid is an absolute nightmare on the defensive line. I've been always wanting USC to be able to land a top tier SEC caliber defensive lineman, but they all go to the SEC or they all go to Ohio State or Michigan. Now we finally are bringing in a guy that can truly be a game changer and help stop that inside running that I was just talking about. Pairing, pairing Justice Terry up with Isaiah Gibson is going to make USC's run defense so much better. We gave up over 200 yards rushing in 50% of our games. Like, let that sink in. We gave up over 100 yards in every single game, I believe except for one, and we gave up 200 yards in more than half of our games. Like, that should let you know how poor Poorly USC was with their run defense. Justice Terry is going to be a guy that is just great first step quickness, ridiculously athletic for his size. I think that this guy is going to be a, he's just going to be a star for the USC Trojans. You're just going to be hearing a lot of Justice Terry with another sack. You're going to be hearing a lot of that coming from, from USC Trojan games. Yeah, great use of his hands. I mean, just again, both of, both him and Gibson are extremely strong. They're going up against the bigger offensive lines of the Big Ten, which I believe the Big Ten has the biggest average size of offensive linemen of any of the Power Five conferences. I definitely think that USC is going to need to get bigger. Whatever Lincoln Riley did this past weekend to get all these Georgia recruits to commit, a hey, by all means, I, I appreciate it because whatever you did, it's working. We're now able to start really recruiting better. I think that with Alabama, Alabama's still doing a really good job of recruiting. Georgia's, uh, this is a little bit concerning though. I want you guys to comment down below. All these Georgia players are going to USC. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think that USC is going to be able to hold them? Do you guys think that Georgia's losing their edge in state of recruiting? I want to hear from y'all, but I definitely, I don't really care about none of that. I'm going to be a happy USC Trojan fan right now because we're bringing in some real weapons. Finally, Justice Terry is an absolute dog. Like this guy is just a home run of a recruit. Justice Terry, Isaiah Gibson, and one of the top corners in the class of 2026 in Dominic Kelly. USC had a phenomenal weekend when it came to recruiting. Like I said, it's been tough over these past just months. USC has not been recruiting at the same level as they did during the glory days of the early 2000s all the way up to the 2010s. USC, Lincoln Riley looks like he's putting those pieces together. Now that you now that USC is in a bigger conference in the Big 10, I definitely think that we're going to have that's going to help boost a lot of our a lot of our recruiting pull i just need us to be able to get these kids to actually sign here like commitment is phenomenal but as you can see from justice terry he was committed to georgia forever ends up flipping to usc the last thing i want to see is a lot of our top defensive line talent flip from usc the wide receivers running backs corners safeties linebackers i'm cool with all even offensive linemen i'm cool with all of them flipping if they want to but these big time defensive line prospects we cannot be missing out on because of just how much usc needs help when it comes to their running game so i'm so excited because these are players that are going to immediately make USC a better run defense team. I want to hear from all my Trojan fans. Leave this video a like and comment your thoughts down below because it is a great day to be a USC Trojan fan. And I'm, I'm, I'm smiling with all y'all.
hit that subscribe button. We're dropping videos every single day. Anytime there's big news we're coming out of the recruiting world, even if there's just some rumors going around that you guys need to know about, I'm gonna be bringing you guys those videos. So hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications. I love and appreciate each and every single last one of y'all. If nobody has told you this today, you matter and you are special in this world. Don't ever think that you don't bring, you don't bring value or that you do not bring happiness into this world. You, there might be somebody that you might not even think cares about you and they care about you more than you will ever be able to understand and if you don't believe me know that jesus christ literally died on the cross before you were even born before your parents were even born before their parents literally before any of us were even thought of jesus christ died on the cross for all of us why just so that we can have a relationship with him really let that sink in i, I like Jesus Christ loves us so much that just to be able to have a relationship with us, he died for us and gave us a way out of the eternal damnation that we are all supposed to be going towards. But just by accepting Jesus Christ, we can avoid all of that and come into the family of God. Always remember that. I love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.